In this screencast, I'm going to show you a very simple way to get your documentation done using screen steps. Your results might be a little different than what you're used to, but if you follow this approach, you'll find that your documentation will be much easier to create and much easier for your users to read. To start with, you need to ask yourself a question. What is the purpose of your documentation? In most cases, the purpose of your documentation is to decrease the calls and emails that you get to customer support. So, the question is, what do people do when they call or email customer support? They usually ask questions. Now, most documentation doesn't answer questions, though. Most documentation, if you look at it, talks about the underpinnings of an application, goes through all the menus and all the screens, about the design behind it. But if you think about it, nobody ever calls and asks questions about those things. They don't ask you what the admin screen is. They ask you how to accomplish different tasks. So, what should your documentation do? It should answer the questions that your users will most likely ask. And if you follow this approach, you'll find it, your documentation will be very easy to create. So, that's how you should start out creating your manual. Let me show you how to do this. For this example, I'm going to go through what I would do if I were creating a manual for WordPress, you know, the blogging platform. First thing I do, create a new manual. We'll just call it WordPress. And then I would just scope out the questions that somebody, a new user, might ask to me. So, to start with, it might be, uh, how do I install WordPress? And another one might be, Okay, I've jumped ahead a little bit here. You can see the questions that I've outlined. How do I install WordPress? How do I change my theme? How do I write a post? How do I moderate comments? How do I create users? How do I upload a file? How do I install a plugin? And how do I get stats on my blog? Now there's probably a bunch of other questions you can come up with as well. You can just keep going through this list. What I do like to do is I write out these questions and don't really think about organizing them first. Just write down all the questions that you need to that you can think of. You don't really need to do much planning beforehand. Once you've got those down, we can start to organize those. So as I look at this first question, that might be something that's a little hard to answer in one lesson because with when you install WordPress you have to download it and upload it to your server. You have to configure your database. You have to then run the installation program. So I might actually break that up into a couple of lessons. So I'll create a section here called Installing WordPress. And I'm going to add a couple new lessons under here. So instead of just how do I install WordPress, change this to how do I upload WordPress to my server. And I might create another lesson here. How do I configure my database? And another one, how do I run the WordPress installation? Now my next section here, the rest of these lessons don't really belong under this installing WordPress section, so I'll create a new one. And I will call that using your blog. And I'm going to create one more section called Managing Your Blog. And now I can just drag these lessons into the different areas. So I might put the theme down there. How do I write a post? I'm going to put there. How do I moderate comments? Creating users. Uploading a file. Installing a plugin. So now you can see, real quickly, I've got the basic outlines of my manual. So now for each one of those, it looks like I misspelled upload up here. I'll fix that real quick. And now to fill out this manual, I just open up a lesson and start creating it like I normally would in screen steps. If I want to, after I've done with filling in all the lessons, I can go back and change the titles. I might change like how do I write a post to writing a post in WordPress. That's really a matter of personal preference of how you want your manual to look. But You'll find if you follow this approach, you're, it'll be really easy to figure out what content you need to cover in your manual. And the manual you come up with at the end will be really easy for your users to read and to, and to follow along. You'll also find that 
as things change, if you ever need to update it, it'll be much easier to update if you follow this approach. So give it a try. It's uh, Manuals are available in ScreenSteps Pro, and you should be able to crank one of these out in an afternoon.